Hello all. Today I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step approach on how you can uh, crack or get the password for uh, WPA, WPA2 encrypted router. Um, as many of you know, uh, WEP or WEP encryption standard is very easy to crack. But WPA on the other hand is, uh, is much harder. And so I'm going to show you how you can go about doing this. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is you're going to need to download some utilities and uh, there's two main ones that we're going to need. You're going to need VMware Player and we're going to need Backtrack 5. Uh, just so that you know if you don't already Backtrack 5 only works with certain wireless chipsets which is why uh, most uh, you're, you're most likely going to have to buy a USB adapter that has the correct chipset to work with Backtrack 5 so if if you don't have that already you can go to uh you can go to my site and and check out cards or uh cards that are compatible with Backtrack 5 but um the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to need to get VMware player there's two ways to run Backtrack 5 one is to burn it to a disk and one is to run it in VMware player and running in VMware player is just is much more easier for me and much more useful so that's the way I'm going to go about doing it uh, so you'd have to go to this address and download VMware Player. You do have to register uh, before you could download it, but it's no big deal. It's free to download. You can just make up some name if you want. Just make sure the email address is correct because you've got to verify it through the email address. And then download uh, VMware Player. And then you're going to want to go to uh, to backtrack to this address and to downloads. And uh, you're going to want to... Uh, download you can register if you want but you don't have to here you can just click the download button also and you can select the version and I'm going to select R1 because they don't have an R2 VMware version out so uh, I'm going to choose Backtrack 5 R1 GNOME 32-bit the VMware if you want to burn it to a disk you would choose ISO but we're going to be doing a VMware so I'm going to choose VMware and direct or torrent so that's however you want you can just choose direct and just click download and this is a really big file, so you know, depending on your internet connection, if you've got a cable modem, it might take you an hour, hour and a half, but so on. Um, really big files. And once you get done downloading them, I've already done that, and I got them here on the desktop. So I got VMware Player here, and I got Backtrack 5 right here. Now, VMware Player, uh, once you get down downloading it, just go ahead and double click on it and install it. Just follow the default instructions. You'll have to restart your computer. And come back and when you get done downloading the Backtrack 5 like this it's going to be inside of a zip file so it's going to have to be extracted and it is a huge file so uh, it does take some time I'm going to go ahead and right click on this and start to extract it right now and uh, you know it, it, it not a humongous amount of time but it is going to take a little bit so uh, it take a few minutes here so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and be right back as soon as it's reached 100%. Okay, the program got done uh, unzipping, and uh, so it's right here. It's got all these files inside of it right here. You know, just leave them alone, don't touch them, and uh, just be aware of where they're at. And close out of that, and we're going to go ahead and start. VMware should already be installed, how to restart your computer and everything. Uh, I'm not going to walk through that because that's just straightforward. So I'm going to go ahead and start a VMware player. And we're going to go file, file, open a virtual machine. And we're going to tell it where it's at. Now, I, I say mine on the desktop, on our Backtrack 5. It's that folder that we unzipped. And all those files won't show up now because it's got the .vmx uh, uh, extension down here. So it's only the ones going to show up. So you're just going to click on it. And right down here where it says play virtual machine, we're just going to click on that. And if you see this, just say I copied it. it tells you right there even. You're going to see all my USB uh, connections.
I'm gonna go ahead and connect my USB to uh, um, wireless adapter. And the first time you set it up, it's gonna want to check uh, check its little space that it has. Doesn't take very long. Okay, and now we're up to the login point. So the login is root, and the password is tor. It's root backwards. So T O O R. And we're going to do a start X to start the graphical user interface. Okay, we're going to want to start uh, two terminal windows. to do an airmon ng command just to see if my interface is hooked up. Okay, and my interface came up. <coughs> it's the real tech a187 it's on WLAN 0 so we're going to use airmon ng and we're going to do start WLAN 0 okay now it came up it's enabled on mon 0 if it says mon 1 or mon 2 for you that's fine just type that in and we're going to uh, do it use arrow dump command and we're going to do it on a uh, on zero. Now I'm going to choose out this one or uh, the D link one right here because it's mine, so it won't matter if I use it. And uh, so here in the top window, I'm going to control C, stop. And now we're going to want to get around to Reaver. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to want to do an update first. So we're going to do apt. And uh, then get app get um, and just do an update. Just a good idea. Really quick. I'll put a thing on my web page and try to do this all in a written way too, in case somebody wants to slow down and read it. And I'll try to put all the commands below this video also. Okay, now we're going to want to do an apt get again. And this time we're going to want to install Reaver. So that's apt get install Reaver. It's got the little uh, negative bar in between there, uh, between apt and get. Okay, we got that, so we're going to say Reaver minus I and uh, I'm on Mon 0, so I'm going to put mine on Mon 0. Yours probably will be too, but whatever it is, minus B. And we're going to want the BSS ID, so this is the D link one, this is mine. So, you know, you see the BSS IDs up here, so I'm going to copy this, copy and paste it right there. And we're going to go negative Victor Victor VV and hit enter. And there it goes. Now it's going to start running through its things. So you're just going to have to let this run. Now it could take anywhere from two to ten hours. I've seen it take like two and a half, maybe three hours. And uh, so we're just going to have to let it run. I tried it on different routers. I have like four or five routers around here. I put passwords on and try on. And uh, so far, uh, this method has worked really well with about 80% of the routers that I've tried to do. Uh, I've done a Linksys one and some other ones. The only one it didn't work on was uh, one that I have DDWRT on. Uh, basically, it, it's using a, a thing called WPS to go around the encryption. 
and to get it. So as long as the router's got a, a thing called WPS on it, it will crack it. But at this point, you just got to let it run and come back. At the end of this video, since I'm not going to be able to sit here forever, uh, I'll, I'll put a thing when it does finally crack it, and I'll put that up. And as you can see, uh, I've let it run. This one took a little longer than uh, the other ones. This one took seven hours, almost seven hours. And uh, it came up with the pin and uh, the 20 key uh, password that I put in there is right there. Usually this would take, with the dictionary, I mean, it would be almost impossible. Uh, I mean, it would take forever to be able to crack something like that. So it's a very, it's uh, really amazing uh, what what Reaver can do. So as you can see, uh, Reaver uh, really is quite a handy little tool.